Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video on Seagate's Firecuda 520. This is an unboxing video, an installation, and a quick chat about what this drive's like to use, including a test with Crystal Mark just to show the transfer speeds. Now, the 520 is Seagate's uh, Gen 4 NVMe SSD drive, so it's intended to work with AMD's PCIe Gen 4 setup, meaning you can get up to 5 thousand megabytes a second if you've got the right tech so if you've got an amd motherboard and the right technology to do it you can run some pretty nifty speeds with this drive however it is backwards compatible with pcie 3 which means that you can use it with older motherboards as well so for testing purposes i do not have an amd motherboard however i am running it on my intel motherboard x299 motherboard which in allows for PCIe 3 which means that I can still get fast speeds but not quite as fast but it's pretty nifty so if you're thinking about purchasing a Gen 4 card but you don't have Gen 4 capabilities just yet but think you might upgrade your PC at some point and want to sort of future proof your storage and this is an option although perhaps it makes more sense to wait for the prices to come down this is a very easy installation process though and I have done a video separately on how to install NVMe SSD drives in particular the Firecuda 520 so check that out I'll link to that in the description so you can see it but basically they're a plug and play affair if you've got the right motherboard it's really easy to plug in as you can see I've got room on my motherboard for three NVMe SSD drives straight on the motherboard itself and then there are other options including expander cards and raid cards to give you even more storage options so I installed it straight onto my motherboard and then went into Windows, and I'll show you the setup process for that, but I also checked in my BIOS to make sure that you can do it. You can, of course, use the NVMe SSD drive as your main boot drive, which means Windows will boot more quickly, and you can transfer files around more quickly, and there's benefits to having multiple drives because I've got one dedicated to videos, one dedicated to games, etc., etc. Inside Windows, you open up the File Explorer, click on Manage, go into your Computer Management and Disk Management, and then the drive, you can just see it there immediately you don't need to download the extra software there is a software toolkit that comes with the drive and I'll link to that in the description that you can use to customize it in various ways but the great thing about these drives is they're dead easy to install you just need to set up and assign a drive letter format it and then it's recognized by Windows immediately and you can start using it without much hassle at all so that setup process doesn't take very long and it's a great installation now to benchmark it, I used Crystal Disk Mark, which is a three bit of software that you can use to benchmark drives with. And I ran that at 32 gigabytes with data being passed through and tested. And you can see the top results for read and write. You've got 2,356 megabytes second read speed, 3,000 write speed. So you can see that's significantly less than the 5,000 megabytes per second you can get on PCIe 4 motherboards, but does still show that it'll run pretty pretty fast on even older motherboards as well so that's a double bonus hope you found this video useful be sure to leave me a comment if you have any questions check out the description for all the other information you need to know as well as links to other relevant videos i'd like to take a moment to thank two of my viewers meaty keyboard and raw who are members of the channel and are paying a small monthly fee each month to help support my channel and get benefits in return if you'd like to find out more about how to get benefits from my channel and the sort of things that you get click that join button to find out more thanks for watching hope you enjoyed enough to subscribe appreciate your viewership have a great life this has been the provoke prawn thanks for taking the time to watch this video hope you found it useful interesting hilarious or all of the above be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that i think might be useful to you and have a great life